Good afternoon, everybody. I am getting ready to go into my favorite word, which is the word of God. And it's in the Song of Solomon, or some may call it the Song of Songs. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into te temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Hey, Jackie. <laughs> All right, I am sitting here and I said, let me get into the word of God and just read and just see what God has to say to me. Because this morning just kind of was rough for me. But I get in the word and I get all right. All right, this is talking about um, a relationship between a woman and a man. And who knows how to match make? Who knows how to bring together people? Who knows how to behave and give advice other than the word of God? God knows about relationships. And I'm so glad that I'm learning. Okay, this black girl and her skin was as the tent of Kadar. Um, and being that I, I think it's so special because in my society, in my experience, God looked like he wanted to write something to a black girl or about a black girl because he knows that it's the truth that how she feels it can be like that and it it's not like God is is just saying black but he is saying black because he knew that one day there will be books that will be written but it won't be about her and he said I'm bold enough to write a book about a girl who expresses her love to Solomon. And I know other people might say that she was had a tan. No, she did not. I know what it's like to be her. I may not know what it's like to be as dark as she is, but I'm dark enough to know that it was not a tan. You don't look at my skin and say, ooh, Brenda has a tan. I, well, by nature I do. But my tan does not allow me or what, you know, I may have a tan, but it don't wake up in the morning. I'm another color. So this girl right here, I could just imagine her feelings. Not, And she's not looking at herself as to be put down, but it's just the way it is. And she wakes up this morning. She said, I, the rose of Sharon, the lily of the valleys. And I heard uh, David Guzik say yesterday that these flowers may be a lot, there may be a lot of them. But being that it's a lot of them, it still makes me one of them. But being, and this is what Solomon said back to her. He said, as he said, you might be a lily of the valleys. But as the lily of the valleys, as the lily among thorns. You can be as precious as you are and you still express or demonstrate to me to be a lily among so many others that are somebody that wants to stick you or, or break you or hurt you. As the lily among thorns, so is my love among the daughters. He said, you see yourself that way but I see you like that oh God I would love to be seen like that to have grown up to have grown up in a environment where I was um, uh, set apart to to know that I meant something to somebody and they noticed me that's a lot that means a lot and it's good to be noticed by a king. It's good to be noticed by somebody who sounds like God when they speak. And she said, or it was said, as the apple tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved among the sons. 
I sat down under his shadow with great delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. This girl said, this man meant a lot to me. I'm covered, I'm protected, I feel that way. And just sitting under him, that's good to be able to say that. If a woman can say that about her husband, that's a beautiful position to be in. You know, I, I won't, even though I'm black and I understand the word, being a dark-skinned girl. But this book is for everybody, no matter what color you are. And maybe to a girl that has a tan, you might feel that way. But you know you feel good about yourself, even if it's others that look just like you. Or just kind of sort of common. But you, but but God is saying, I believe that even if you look, have a common look, maybe because there's some girls are just absolutely stunning in the way they look. And then there are some that don't look as good for whatever reason. And then you just have that common girl. But her behavior, God is saying that it's nothing common about you when you and me. And this is what Solomon is saying to her. Although you might be a common looking girl, but not to me. And I'm the man that understands uh, women of taste. And that's what I want to be. <laughs> she said, he brought me to the banqueting house. And his banner over me was love. He brought me to a place and he set it up and made me feel like it's all about me. Isn't that a good place to be? That God cares enough about a relationship that this man makes your world feel like it's all about you. And so much that is understood with a banner, something big going across. And his banner over me, the way he treats me, I feel loved. Oh, God, I want us to feel that way. She says, stay with me, flagons. Comfort me with apples, for I am sick of love. In other words, I, I, I'm in love with this man. And then God letting us be read to us. This girl in love, you ever been in love where you can't help it? Until it does, it, you, you just, I'm in love. With, and it, wouldn't it be nice to be in love with your husband and you've been married to him for 40 years? God, I don't know how long this girl was, but it sounds like young love to me. <laughs> but it would be like you could be at any age and fall in love again. And I think that it would be good if we just read the book of Solomon when people need to be encouraged in a relationship or to encourage your own marriage. And even to encourage yourself, knowing that one day you get married, you know where to refer to. So this book is like every once in a while, stir it up. Go back and get it and, re and, and refresh your memory of who you are and what God has to say about your relationship with the man you love. And I'm talking about husbands. Because this is, this is not authorized for sin, adultery, fornication. It's not authorized for people that won't get up under the um, safety of God. And then as he said, David Guzik said, it's like she was daydreaming. She said, his left hand under my head and his right hand does embrace me. Oh, that means I'm close to him. His left hand is under my head and his right hand got me close to him. Ain't that good? Isn't that, isn't that a good position to be in that the man that you love is is watching over you he's a, like a shadow that close to you and your protection and you and he says to you you don't ever look at yourself like you might look like some of your relatives but to me they look like thorns compared to you being a lily oh god i want to hear it like that i charge you oh ye daughters of jerusalem by the rose or the deers and by the hinds of the field that you stir not up nor awake my love till he please. She said, don't, don't even, don't even get stirred up. She said that you stir not up nor awake love till he please. In other words, I think this means make sure that when you give out 
who you are, make sure that you're receiving it back. Make sure that it's not you all in it by yourself. It's hard. But pray and ask God to say, Lord, I don't want to fall in love with this guy and he's not loving me back. But that song said, it feels so good loving somebody and they love you back. Hmm. The voice of my beloved, behold, he comes leaping upon the mountains, skipping up on the hills. I can hear his truck coming down the street. <laughs> oh, I hear me coming home. My beloved is like a roe or a young heart. Behold, he stands behind our wall. He looks forth at the windows, showing himself through the lattice, playing with me, making me blush. I see you, boo. <laughs> oh, God, this is so good. This is a love story. This is God talking about a love life between a man and a woman. And he said that's the way it's supposed to be between the godly, not the ungodly. They contaminated. But when a woman of God and a man of God is in love, he said, it looks like this. Isn't that sweet? This is the way love for the look. Mm, it looks like this. <laughs> My beloved spake, he said something and said unto me, rise up. He saw me through the ladders and said, rise up. And I'm over there. <laughs> My beloved spake and said unto me, rise up, my love, my fair one. And come away. Come on, go with me. Looking at me through the ladders. And I'm sitting up there smiling. He said, get up. <laughs> He did get all work now. For lo, the winter is past. The rain is over and gone. He said, we've been through a lot. I've been with you through the winter. I've been through with you through the rain. The flowers appear of the, on the earth. This is what time is going by. The time of the singing of birds is come. And the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. She said, all that time went by and he, we've been together. The fig tree puts forth her green figs and the vines with the tender grapes give a good smell. He said, get up, baby. Arise, my love, my fair one. Let's go on a, let's go on a vacation. Let's go on a trip. Oh, my dove that are in the uh, clefts of the rock in the secret places of the stairs, let me see your face, your countenance. Let me hear your voice. For sweet is your voice and your countenance or your face is calmly. You're beautiful. Take us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil. And it seems like the man is saying to her, oh, dove, thou art in the cliff of the rock. One of them was saying it to each other. So it could have been him going back with her because she's like, I'm daydreaming. I'm reminiscing or I'm dreaming of this thing happening to me. you are like, I'm doing Sometimes you can just get in the word and tell God, I like that. He said, you like that? I said, yeah, I like that. He said, you want to feel that way? I said, yeah, I want to feel like that. He said, okay. <laughs> he said, oh, my dove that I in the clefts of the rock, in the secret places of the stairs, let me see your countenance. Let me see your face, girl. Let me hear your voice, girl. For sweet is your voice, and the countenance is comely. You're a beautiful woman. Take us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes. He said, take us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes. We got to get these foxes out of the way. That's what I'm saying. Now, y'all go in there and read it, and if you see something different, share it with me. But this, I'm going to tell this story the way I see it. He said, you know, we got to take care of the little stuff be getting on our nerves, right? Let's get that out of the way. Just come on, come on, ride with me. Anything that is going to destroy what is ours, it's going to be something small, but let's get rid of it. My beloved is mine and I am his. He feeds, he feeds among the lilies. In other words, he came and sought me out among a lot of people, but he noticed me. Until the daybreak, and the shadows flee away. Turn, my beloved. 
and be thou like a roe or a young heart upon the mountains of Betha. And she said, and, it, and I'm going off the best I can understanding it, because I love it. She was like, when it's all said and done, come back home to me. I want you back. Isn't that a beautiful place to be in? And God has put this love story right here in earth for us to enjoy each other. This book is not all about where we're going to spend eternity. He's like, right now, because he said, I'm telling y'all now, nah, there ain't going to be no fuss up in the heaven now. There ain't going to be no, these that stuff straight. Jesus already said, there ain't going to be no marriage. My son, one of my children told me, well, Mom, if ain't going to be no marriage up there, because marriage is, is good when it's right. But he said, won't be no need for it. My God, what kind of, where, where is that place? But while we're here, it's okay to get in the word of God and get your behavior if you're not married and how you ought to respond. And then if you are married, then you can become this woman and that man will respond to you because you know how to keep it clean and keep yourself being sex. That's word. I would say this to the world. <laughs> Father, I thank you for this word because you are not ashamed of your own word. How we got this thing so screwed up that the world looks better in its lyrics, in its behavior than your word? We need to be forgiven because we lack knowledge. There is flirtation by your authority and your commandment that a woman ought to flirt with her husband, a man ought to flirt back. We thank you that we will look at this book. And I know somebody said, well, he's the lily of the valley. He is. But he said, but even if I am, so are you. And when we recognize that we are, as he said we are, according to this behavior of a woman in love with a man, it looks good to me. It looks clean to me. Who wouldn't want to be a part of this? And I thank you, Father, for your wisdom to show me the best I could to read this story. I can only imagine what it's really like. And Father, I thank you for a good for good husbands, for the women of God that desire to be married and that are not ashamed to say, I want to be like this dark, this black girl in the book of Psalm, I mean, of Songs of Solomon. I want a behavior and I want to talk to my man or my husband just like that and him talk to me. And that just let me know that you said if let me know that you said if this girl is beautiful and the world looks down upon her and I can find her as dark as this world is, I found a dark girl in a dark world and made her like a lily in the valley. Mm. Thank you for that, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.